All right, time for wiring step two. My iDash is installed, it's working great. My back ordered mount for it from Autometer finally shipped, so maybe I'll get that installed one of these days, but I got my F650 dash put in with my PowerPoint switch and my mirror heater switch. And right now this is the mirror heater switch that came with it. I'll be figuring out the wiring to hook that one up. Now hook my PowerPoints up. Uh, but the next stage is I'm going to start tackling this rat's nest. So I built me a little mount here that bolts to the cab. And I got a space underneath this for my cruise control servo when I get that installed. Um, I'm going to start transferring everything from this box to this box. Still waiting on some parts though. And what my plan is, so I'm going to run a couple of battery post extensions to here and I'm going to mount all my relays up here. And then I've got these wires from the fast, this is the fast fuel pump, this is the fast fuel heater. And I'm just going to wire those in up here and there's some relays just kind of floating in this rat's nest that'll get mounted up here. And I'm waiting on those relays that have the fuse holder built into them so I can clean that up. And then I'm going to move these Dodge wiring harnesses back where they would be on the Dodge and redo all these wires into this box. Um, and then I'll be down to just having, let's see, that'll get rid of this group right here. And then I'll be down to just this group which is the transmission controller. And I've got a, a firewall connector on order to replace the PCM down there that I can, a bulkhead connector that I can run all my tranny wires through. And when I get that installed, I'll run all of these up and over and tie them into this bundle and then I'll push this bundle back. And hopefully when I'm done, it'll look nice and tidy, but I've got a bunch of work to do first. And the first step is converting my batteries over here to a different terminal style so that I can run some cables over to the posts. And I built this bracket before I had the engine in and it's too close over there. And I have a bunch of room over here. So I'm actually going to build a new battery box bracket next and move this over back and down a little bit and give myself more room to work. And then I've got these military style terminals, which I can't currently put on because they hit the bracket I made because I wasn't thinking forward. And these are the wires I got. They're six gauge to run up to the terminals for the relays. So I think six gauge will handle all the power I'll ever need for my fuel pump, fuel heater, BP44 relay. And then I'm going to power that little fuse box off of a relay as well. Because right now it's coming directly off the ignition switch. So that's where I'm at. And... The next step, I'm going to start fabbing a new battery box. Probably get it powder coated blue to match this one. Seems to be the theme I'm going with. I got that blue and that blue and that blue, so I might as well make a new one of these blue. So I'm going to start lining that up. All right, getting the new top piece mocked up. Going a little simpler this time. It'll leave room for those military ends. I got the connecting cables made. I got those ready to run up to my bus bars, which hopefully get here from some someday. They got shipped from China, so we'll see when they get here. Everything else is just kind of off to the side until I get this part done. And then I've got a couple of cables over here. I'll just have to put new ends on and just add them onto here and here. But, uh, one step at a time, we're getting there. Taking a slightly different approach with my new battery frame. Instead of cutting 45s in the corners and trying to make everything exactly the right length, instead, I just cut out the missing piece so that this will slide on here. I'm just gonna take the batteries out of the truck and I'm gonna set them on here and I'm gonna slide this up so that it's the right size and then I'm going to tack it and then I'll just weld it in place and cut the end off. I did that one the same way. I think that came out okay. I'm not the best welder in the world, but 
once it's powder coated it'll look fine and then once I get this one set in place I'll just do the same thing to this one I'll cut it to the right length and then make it so it sits down in there and tack it in place and then I'm going to let these hang over the edge a little bit and I'm going to weld a plate onto those that I can bolt my tank to and I think it will come together. Alright, got my new battery box fabbed up and I moved my batteries over quite a bit so there's a nice gap there. That battery is no longer touching before it was actually touching right here. You can see the little scuffs on it. Um, I think that's a pretty good fit. And then I also added on a bracket on this side to bolt my um, relays to and my overflow. I just have this zip tied to the current one and this has been zip tied to my brake lines. So that'll give those a nice mount. And then along with the mount for my cruise control and my fuse box, I should have everything in place to start running wires where they need to go. So now I got to get this back out and get it to the powder coater and then move on from there. All right, got this stage done. My military battery conversion's done. Got my relays mounted there. I moved my C125, C126 plugs mounted up to this bar and uh, got all my relays put up here. So the left one's my fuel pump then the fuel heater, then the VP44, and then that last relay is powering this box, which is all switched power. And I created a new happy path for wiring over there. There's still a few loose wires, and those are ones that are gonna be part of my next project, which is gonna be a new bulkhead connector where the PCM is. And then this will really start to look cleaner, I think. But for now, there is no more rat's nest, and I'm not worried about any of this stuff wiggling loose as I go down the road. This box is mounted nice and firm. These wires are all zip tied together nice and firm. Everything's mounted. Um, this white wire is going to my weight to start light. That's one of the things I'll be wiring through the bulkhead connector. This is also going to it. Um, all of these wires are going to get moved into the bulkhead connector and that's for my transmission controller. Um, and then that'll clean up the rest of these. The rest of these aren't too bad the way they are. This is wired in so that I can loosen it and lift it up and get underneath it. So, good step in the right direction. And then I'll also clean up this bank's wiring one of these days. This is just, they sent me like 12 feet of wire. And one of my things that's going through the bulkhead connector is my um, crank or camshaft sensor for the RPM tachometer and stuff that goes to the banks. And so I'll move that all inside and then I can clean up that wiring. and. One little project at a time, it'll just get cleaner and cleaner. But I'm calling this one a wrap. No more rat's nest.